That's a fucking dude. That's true, because you walk down the street. Everybody's done it. So when we, 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 my brother, we drop down the street, you see that dude for like uh, two blocks away, like, look at this hole right here. <laughs> and then you're like, this hole looks kind of good. You get up close, it's a fucking dude. That's kind of trickery as that. Cause they be having, it's back in the best night. They take estrogen and shit, they give them hips, they give them boobs and shit, give them tits. It's just like women. They look like women, you know, they actually trick your ass. But when you get up close, you're like, you ain't no woman. Hey, like tranny. That bitch, like that bitch you said was them shit. That old lady, she the transvestite. Oh, she was like, that's not the woman, that's a man. And then she was like, he's at the buffet now. So you got damn transvestites and motherfuckers. This bitch, she's 90 years old. She still works with me. She was there when the restaurant oh, opened. The oh, name? you just said the name of the restaurant. The no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I'll cut that shit out. See, they be having that shit wild. Let's start that shit. No, fuck it. They be having that shit wild. Let me get the scripture. Go ahead. Romans uh, 16 and 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the heart of the simple. And, and that sums up all these people out here to a T, man. Sums them up perfect. That's a perfect description of the average person you run across, man. Read that again, man. Romans 16 and 18. Oh, For they that are such serve not our Lord Y'all was shy, but their own belly. These people only serve their own belly. We'll come up with, like, somebody come up with, like, you trying to get some knowledge. They're like, nah, man, you just gotta get money, man. Y'all ain't get money, y'all ain't talking about shit. So that's all they care about is filling their own belly. All they care about is getting money, material shit, getting drugs, selling drugs. All they care about is getting stuff. You know what I mean? When the only stuff that matters is this word. Keep going. And it's the only thing you take with you is the word <laughs> in the spirit. So when you die, you ain't taking none of that other shit with you, but your spirit. <laughs> Go ahead. But your own belly and by good words and fair speeches to see the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Satan will be, that's Satan, that's talking about Esau. Satan's talking about Esau, it's not talking about the devil down in hell. No, it's probably more than that, ain't it? It's probably, that's all fire to me. You know, ain't a single dull part in there. Don't ask me right, yeah, because uh, the, the, uh, the Bible likens the Roman Empire to Satan. They call it the Roman Empire Satan. You know what I'm saying? So America say Barack Obama's Satan. You know what I'm saying? The white man's Satan. All these international, the so-called Jews, all the bankers, they're all, that's Satan. Satan, Satan Shatan, that's a Hebrew word that means adversary. They talk about, hey, there's a spiritual demon, Satan. You know what I'm saying? And he does. Satan, the Lord does use Satan to fuck with you, man. To tip you. Okay. You want to read that? Well, if you're weakening with the fault of that shit, that just means you ain't in the Yeah. And really, he saw the children of Satan, the children of the devil, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got the Hebrew Israelites, the children of God. Then you got the Hebrew Edomites, the children of Satan. There's a clear difference. There's a very big difference. There's a clear difference, right? A very distinct. There's a distinction. Like the, the Israelites, we come out here, we teach the word. What did the Edomites do? They put motherfuckers in slavery. And they set up the church of Satan. You know what I'm saying? They worship the devil. Oh, they God. laugh at our calamity. I don't know but what. They just want to kill everybody, bro. Romans 16, 19, for your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I would have you rise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall prove, saying unto your feet shortly, the grace of our Lord, Yahweh shall be with you. Amen. Oh, that was the end. I was thinking you was a Peter. My brain is messed up, man.
That, that's good. You're ready to get though. That's a beautiful scripture. But Satan's gonna be put under our Look, there goes the Energizer Bunny. That's a weirdo, man. That really is, too. <laughs> God damn. I like this. I like the. I, I would like pound the Energizer Bunny. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I like to have a bitch dressed up like a little bunny. You know what I mean? <laughs> Up in my bedroom, shit. I, he's dressed up like a bunny in the bedroom. Hey, come energize me, bunny! Yeah, what do you say, energy? The cloud, or what, how does it go? It takes a ticking but keeps on licking? Hey, that's Duracell. That's Duracell, ain't it? Take a licking but you keep on ticking? I was gonna have Peter, man. There's some Peter, uh, I wanna hear some stuff. I Oh, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm about like almost hallucinating this shit, man. This is gonna feel weird. Isaiah, um, 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. What is that, Isaiah what? 65 and 12. Oh, go ahead. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall bow, all bow down to the sword. Because when I called, ye did not answer. Oh, so the people that didn't answer the calling of the Lord, they get chopped to pieces. They, they get killed by the sword. What's that sword? That's the cop. When like the cops will come through and fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? They'll lock your you ass. shoot a little 13-year-old with a toy gun. So. Oh, yeah, they did shoot a 13-year-old. They shot his ass up. Oh. You know what's fucked up too? They didn't make they didn't make a big deal out of that like they did that Trayvon, Trayvon like Martin. Movie. And this dude was actually a little kid. <laughs> yeah, Trayvon Martin had tattoos on his face and shit. Yeah, this is an actual little like 13 years old. <laughs> actually, he's a man. Actually, actually, I take that back. According to the Bible, he's a man. And actually, that's part of the punishment that Israel gets for breaking the Lord's commandment. Even though it's that cool. But those cops did to that little boy, so they should be rioting over there, actually. Yeah, they should be more in the uproar than that than over Trayvon Martin. Because he was actually real young. But they, most of them, though, you know what I mean? Because they don't really give a fuck. People don't really care. The only reason they cared about that Trayvon shit is the TV told them to. People only do what they told, bro. Yeah, they're sheep, but they don't follow the good shepherd. Because you got the evil shepherd and you got the good shepherd. You know what I'm saying? And that, they even walk around with them goats. Yeah, they the goat. Yeah, they a goat. They 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 follow the goat herder. <laughs> and CNN and Fox News, that's a goat herder, bro. All the news, Al Sharpton is a goat herder. He herds goats. He don't herd sheep. Yeah, because they really should start a ride over that, man. If you want to ride over anything, it'd be dead. Gonna shoot a little yeah. and they arrested people now for having toy guns. If you got a water gun, you'll go to jail. They stealing children to shoot the wife. <laughs> but all, all the little children shows though, they all shoot each other in it. Mm -hmm. now, go ahead, go ahead. In most four and ten. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Israel spirits who know the like war though. You know what I mean? You know, Israel, we great mighty men. We like playing war, cops and robbers, or that. You know, fight it. You know, when you little kids. That's one of the games we my kids used to play. You know, the color gun. We used to teach them. Yeah. We used to play war, man. We used to have BB, yeah, BB gun fight. We used to have a camera and we used to film this show every day, cops and robbers. I, I want to play the shit with the metal BB. Oh, we used to do that. We used to okay. Yeah, we did too. Oh, we had goggles we wore though. Right, but I was with my kids, we did with the plastic. Oh, yeah. Plastic. That's better. That shit be like we used to always have fight war games. I got shot my hand with one. I feel like my whole hand got blew off, man. Because the Israelites are the best warriors, bro. That shit was fun, man. That was it was the most fun I ever had in my life doing that shit with my kids. Yeah, Israel is the supreme strategist. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead with that. And even though Esau, his blessing was the sword, but Esau is not actually a good fighter himself. He, 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 he controls people. He, he makes other people fight his wars for it. You know what I mean? Or he'll shoot your ass with a missile from a thousand miles away. <laughs> or a remote control airplane yeah. that somebody oh, else built. A fucking drone. Yeah. yeah. Actually, watching this shit on the, just like a video. I'll go ahead. I got it. Amos 4 and 10. I have sent among you the pestilence 
after the manner of Egypt. After that manner of Egypt, that's, you know, they wanted to kill all the bull childs at the one time in Egypt to go back home, bro. But even they got some new pestilences now too, though. Mm -hmm. Like in America, half the uh, half of America infected with gonorrhea, mm. the syphilis. They, and, and then they said uh, the CDC just said that antibiotics have reached the end of the road, bro. Mm -hmm. They said antibiotics don't even work no more. You can't even cure gonorrhea now. So that, well, that means if you can't cure, it's gonna spread even more. And then it's gonna mutate. And then some new shit's gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead. In most 4 and 10, I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses. And I have made the stink of your camp to come up onto your nostrils. Yet have ye not returned unto me, says the Lord. They call on FEMA. Or the government, they right. call Obama, them, uh, I know Obama gonna say, I know he gonna fake, he gonna say me. Bro. I can't wait for my Obamacare, nigga. The name of the Lord is far from this thoughts. I know Obama love me, Obama gonna buy me a house. <laughs> Obama going These bitches, these bitches actually, you actually got bitches on the internet who actually thought Obama was gonna pay her rent and buy her house. Oh, How stupid are you? How fucking stupid. <laughs> How fucking stupid. Like, all right. He couldn't even do it if he wanted to do it. I'll go ahead and say it. A, this country ain't got no damn money. That's why they print and fight money. The most 4 and 11. I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Solomon and Gomorrah. So just like Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed, that's how the Lord's gonna destroy America. Oh, you got all these faggots and transvestites and freaks and weirdos everywhere. You got grown men wearing tight ass pants. You got grown men wearing pink t-shirts. You got grown people dressed in costumes. Wearing costumes, walking around looking like a bunch of faggots. Now Halloween is devil worshiping. If you celebrate Halloween, that means you worship the devil. And the Bible said devil worshipers get put to death. That's what the Holy Bible says. According to the Holy Bible, if you celebrate Halloween, you, you're supposed to get stone with stones until you die. Hey, give me that Deuteronomy 17, bro. Deuteronomy started at 3. You ain't supposed to be celebrating Halloween. Halloween come from the uh, Irish festival of Sam Hain where they would sacrifice children to the harvest god. So that's why you send all your children out trick-or-treating because it symbolizes them getting sacrificed to the devil. And you dumbass people send your children out trick-or-treating and then they eating ass candy, they eating sperm candy. The candy they got trick-or-treating was up in someone's asshole, up in some homosexual child molester sex offender's asshole. That's where your children's trick-or-treat candy came from. Some they got some LSD up in it, you bunch of dummies. In most 5 and 21, I hate, I despise your feast day. So the Lord despises your feast day. The Lord despises Christmas. God hates Thanksgiving. God hates Easter. He sure the hell hates Halloween. You going? And I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Hey, they call it Devil's Night. They even call it Devil's Night. Yeah, they enjoy the hell too. They call Halloween Devil's Night, and they enjoy it. Don't dress up like a devil. They dress, they dress their little child up like a devil. Because y'all a bunch of fucking punk bitches, man. That's why the Lord's going to kill two-thirds of Israel. Keep going. Here you go. Deuteronomy 17 and 2. If there be found among you, within any of thy gates, which the Lord thy power given thee, man or woman, man or woman, that hath wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy power. Now take a part in a demonic ritual called trick or treat on Halloween as evil in the sight of the Lord. Keep going. In transgressions his covenant. You transgress the covenant when you go trick or treat. Keep going. And have gone and served other gods. When you celebrate Halloween, all you really do is you worship a Baal, the god of the harvest, which is really the planet Saturn. You worship a Saturn, the harvest god. Saturn L, that's what they call it. Baal. You know what I'm saying? Baal Barith. Go ahead with that. And worship them 
either the sun or moon or any of the host of heaven which I have not commanded. Like really, like really, uh, like Baal, they really painted Saturn. They really worship the planet. They the astrologer. And hey, there goes Derek. <laughs> Tell him about the black Jesus. What's up, homie? Shit, you know I gotta come over and speak to y'all every time I come out here. I go ahead, we we'll bring this Halloween scripture. We did. We about reading the stone with stone scripture. We and might. if he told me, and thou hast heard of it, and we are, now we all read. If we find out that anybody celebrate Halloween, you know they call it Devil's Night. Right. right? It's Devil's Night. Guess what they have in my church? It's called Hallelujah Night. Oh, oh Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Forget Halloween what? night. No. They dress up. I heard of that though. They dress up as uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Christmas <laughs> We come in, we guess who they're dressed as. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna lead over the world. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And behold, it is the truth. Oh, and shit. Mo's high came through on that one. You got to start Israel. over. Then shalt thou right. bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing. Whoever committed that wicked thing, mean they fall on other guys. Like we were saying, Halloween, just when you celebrate Halloween, you're really worshiping the God of the harvest. Right. Because it comes from the ancient festival of Sam Hay, where they would sacrifice children to the God of the harvest. I heard that. And then that. they'd be like, if we don't sacrifice children, we're not going to make it through the winter. We won't live. They believe that. Our right. crops they, won't do so yeah, well. They thought, yeah, they won't get good harvest unless they sacrifice children. Right. So that's why they send all these little kids out trick-or-treating, because that rep represents them sacrificing them to the devil. That's right. right. Let me get this. Right. Then shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. die. So, the Holy, so the Holy Bible said you gotta get stoned with stones until you die if you celebrate Halloween, Christmas, and Easter. And let me say this, these stones ain't gonna be stones in the ancient days. These stones now will be nuclear missile stones at your ass. Right. That's some heavy I stones right there. I just like the presents. Oh. Christmas, that's for the birds. I what? never believed well, it's all, in Santa Claus. It's all paganism, though. It always was little. I found out what my friend said. Man, he's the gift. Talking about Santa Claus. We ain't got no chimney, nigga. Yeah, right. They ain't got no that's chimney. But right. well, what is that tree, though? Who put the hell put a tree in their house? That's like some heathen shit, bro. You know what that tree represents? That tree represents oh, the, the knowledge of good and evil that was in the Garden of Eden. Right. And those little balls on it represent that fruit that the serpent gave to Eve. That right. fruit. Let me get that real quick. Because these people, they all eat that fruit. Oh. Second John 1 and 10. Oh, yeah. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. Oh, yeah, so if anybody comes up here, some like, oh, y'all can't say that. What's wrong with Halloween? It's just fun for the kids. <laughs> Second John 1 and 10. Oh, actually, you know what a kid is? They call kids kids. A kid is a goat. I'm going to get the definition. Uh, I already know that. Hey, there goes Zimmerman. I'm going to do it for the camera, though. Right. <laughs> I already know that. Second John 1 and 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not. Into your house, neither bid him God choose. Let's from a group of rats. What's that going to be what we doing, man? What harm is it doing, man? Let me know. For he that bid him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Because they don't understand that they only serving, you know, they, they pushing out the precepts of men that this bullshit that you can, whatever you do, if it makes you happy, go ahead and do it. Do as thou wilt. Hey. They smile when they do it. It makes me happy seeing my kids happy, man. The kids, too. Well, hold up. That's, well, we got, I got a definition real quick. Hey, keep this on camera. If you can, I'm going to hold it real still. Get that light on there. After that, I'm getting out of this shit. I ain't gonna get in the morning again this year. Oh, shit, I'm done with that. Oh, shit. I mean, it's real simple. It's the very first definition. Try to get this on camera if you can. Which one? Let Paul get over there. Get up here. It's right here. Hold on, just move right behind me. Just get right here. Just beam the light on it right here. Kid. Oh, hold up. The very first definition of kid says a young goat. It's not the second right. definition. I'll put that light back on there. It's not the third definition. It's the very first definition for kid is a young goat. The young of a similar animal, such as an antelope. <laughs> uh, the flesh of a young goat. The flesh of a young goat. You call your children kids? Because... Cause, because you sat there, like on the Passover, you sacrifice a lamb. This so, ain't working. It's all good. I'm going to get that job, man. 
Alright, All right, D. Yes, sir. Y'all be good. But that's why they uh, always say we gotta do it for the kids. Cause really, they call your kids kids because they look at them like they're a sacrifice. sacrifice. They're a sacrifice. Hold up, this camera ain't working. Oh, there it goes. It stopped right. working? It was a uh, full oh. blast. I don't know why. It ain't your kids anyway. Right, your kids belong to the state. Right. You know, just, uh, like, That's why they quick to bring to the service to your last thing. Whenever something stupid happens, when somebody get up in your business, they call to the service. They come with the cops. Yeah, if they call the cops. Somebody's going to jail for sure. The man's usually the guy going to jail. And even the word family doesn't mean what you think it means. The word family comes from the Latin word familia, which means a household servant. Because your family's not, you're not supposed to call your family your family. Your familia. You're supposed to call it your household. Your house. Like the house of David. You know what I'm saying? The house of Israel, not the family of Israel. It's the house. This is our household. Look at this guy wearing the pink tutu. And we hold that turn for this. I can't let it go there. It's like that. You go up in a battle with this. Dude's wearing the NWO and his buddy's got the pink tutu on. Fucking weirdo. That's probably. Do you think he bust back well or something? He's wearing a pink tutu. I already did. These niggas wearing a tutu. I don't care if it's Halloween or not. If you wear a dress or a fact. It's Halloween and that means you're doing work. Now you're a family. Now you're celebrating the devil work for Halloween. That's that's terrible. Woe unto the wicked. You should have seen the time my bitch came out here dressed up the time. Oh, we cussed that bitch out. That was you. 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 Y'all want to get the shout out All praise to the Most High, your house boss, show you outside. Now we Give double honors to the elders. We always get cut off on a camera. We can't never, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So we give double honors to the elders, DMF. Y'all can't tell us what bring up on me. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's doing the work sincerely, you know. If you ain't doing the work, get your ass out and do the work. If you don't, you're going to die. You're going to get fucked up. The Most High will fuck your ass up. This ain't no goddamn joke, man. That's all there is to it. That's the Nico. That's a rap. That's a rap. Cornito.